Everybody's getting it, James G will even jack Cause I'm a beast on the track, when I fucking rap Okay, enough of this garbage, I'm causing a carnage I'm switching the barriers, I'm seeing the cabbage on this bastard okay. Yes, yes, yo, what's good ladies and gentlemen I know you guys did not see this one happening Alright? Nope Um, so it's your boy Shun T With Jig's illustration, man You can see Jig's illustration right here, man So how you doing, bro? How you doing? I'm good, my brother. I am good. Just taking care of the kids because a lot of people don't realize I'm a family man, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I'm good. I'm good, brother. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you know something. What's up with you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. With a lot of stress today, but I'm good. See, you mentioned yeah. something. You see, with this YouTube stuff, most people, some people don't realize that uh, you have a life uh, outside YouTube. Yes, so, that's correct. Yeah. So tell us, tell us, tell us, tell us. I, I want you to talk about um, your how you became active on YouTube, how you became a reactor. What prompted whole, you, bro? What prompted you? What made you decide to become a reactor? Okay, so when I, I was on YouTube way longer than a lot of people think. Um, I think I've been on YouTube since 2010. I've been on YouTube since 2010. When I was first doing YouTube videos, I would do a promotional type style video. I wasn't doing reactions. I was doing, you know, like how you will have music playing. You're you're be trying to tell the artist story through a visual. Yeah. So I will put together clips and try to be creative with it. Why is telling the story of the artist as they are singing the song? Okay. So you have the song playing in the background and everything that's being mentioned in the song, you'll see it come on screen. So that's what I was doing for a good couple of years. And I was only doing it to a genre called soca, which is uh, a genre within the Caribbean. Okay. Um, only start, but when it came to reactions, I only start doing reactions last year. Well, I can't say last year, no, the years past. So 2019, December or November, I think it's November. I okay. only started doing reactions in 2019, November. And the first reaction I did was to, I think it was Burn a Boy. Oh, was that's my Burn a <laughs> Burn a Boy was the first person to start reacting to. And then, you know, as you start reacting, more people will give you like input on different artists you should trail, right? And then for our boy DML come under my radar. And I was like, yo, this 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 guy, man, for our boy DML was lit. Yeah. In my personal opinion, for our boy DML is, is lit. And then I start going in a couple of other Nigerian artists, came across Pata Rankin, who I'm still reacting to. Yeah. Because my audience has changed since then. But yeah, I'm still okay. putting in Pata Ranking reactions. And then finally, I came into Ghana. Because a lot of people would try to figure out how I get reacting to Ghanaian music. So I was Nigerian first. But then I came across this song. Um, I think it was called Black People by Stone Boy. Stone Boy. And, yeah. And I, it hit me. The notes and everything when it comes to what he was talking about as a black person. It hit me. I was like, yo, I got to... I, I gotta try to react to this dude's song because I, I like this song. Didn't know nothing about Stone Boy. All I knew that he was Ghanaian and I know he was doing it, it sounded more like reggae to me, a reggae vibe. And I started doing Stone Boy. And from there, that's where my Ghanaian artist started. So it all started when it comes to Ghanaian music, started with Stone Boy. Okay. And then I just climbed a ladder from there, man. Okay. That's how that's how the reactions came around. Okay. So, you know, this is more like a chat, not really an interview. So yeah. now I'm going to tell you how I started reacting. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, I was in school. Uh, then I didn't, even, I didn't even know how to use YouTube. I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know. I think like when it comes to internet, I was dumb, like zero, 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 zero. So wow. I had this friend that uh, worked in a cyber cafe. Mm. So I used to go meet him and um, I would watch uh, movies on his laptop and stuff. But he got busy. So he gave me his phone to be watching videos on YouTube. Yeah. Um, he wanted to use his phone and I was still using the phone. So he was like, okay, you know what? Let me let me create your own YouTube account for you. I was like, what's YouTube? He said, that's, that's where you're watching the movie right now. Is that for real? Yeah. So he, he wow. created. Now, this is dumb. Like, this is. <laughs> <laughs> so he created. A, his name is Java Black. So he created. Yeah. Um, uh, what do they call it? My YouTube account for me. That was a long time ago. So I did not even realize that I had an account. I just realized that okay, oh, I had a, a a platform to watch stuff from. You get yeah. It? So yeah. Um, then I stumbled on. Um, I think after a while, after a few months, maybe a year, I stumbled on No Life Sharks um, reactions. Then um, ah. 
I'm not sure what he was doing then. I'm not sure which one comes first. I think it was the time he was um, reacting to, it, it was probably when he was still reacting to UK to the UK scene. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I, 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 I have known, I know about Nola Shot, but I never really used to watch reactions. Okay. Uh, because uh, um i'm not crossing you or anything it, because i think um when it comes to the reaction thing i didn't want to take pieces of other people's reaction or anything like that so mm -hmm. i kind of refused to watch I, I i know of him I, I i do know of him i've watched at least two or three videos and i know the guy is up there right he's my favorite but yeah he he he, he has a different type of vibe yeah. And I, 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 I catch why, why you're attracted to watching his reactions. And I think you're talking about this is before he lost his job because, you know, there was a point where he was working. Yeah. And this is this well, be this after he, he lost his job, though. After he lost oh, his job. After. Oh, OK. OK. Yeah. So you start watching. I was watching No Life Shack and I was, mm. there was this guy. I don't think he's still reacting anymore. Uh, King KTF. Mm. So he used to react mm. to um, old school hip hop. So um, I love watching the two of them. And uh, mm. I figured, why not um, start a reaction channel and also get involved in this? I wasn't thinking African scene because there was a period where um, uh, no light where DG and um, DG and um, KSI, their brothers, mm. they were going yeah. at each other. And I was thinking like, yo, I would like to get involved in this scene as a reactor. But yeah, they didn't have the time. I, I think um, school runs and um, what else? Uh, NYC issues in my in my country here after your university you yeah a year program called NYC so oh, okay uh, New York uh, what the fuck am I saying National Youth Service Corps so, <laughs> yeah <in> New York <laughs> 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 so yeah so as of, as of the time I had a writing uh, I I used to I used to write on Fiverr I used to, I used to have oh, okay a, yeah on Fiverr so um, it was booming and all that but when I went for NYC uh the first three weeks of nyc you don't have access to internet that much in the sense that you, you, there's no much time you can't do uh, work or business like that so i lost okay. of my clients who I, who I was working with at that time so coming out of the whole nyc situation i had two options rebuild my writing uh, uh job my writing portfolio the writing career or start yeah. something else so i thought if i want to start re restart the writing stuff i'll put in as much effort and if i want yeah. to start the reaction stuff i'll put in Probably the same effort. So why not start reaction yeah. the way I love? So I started October 2019. Yeah. Because that's when I ended my NYC, October 2019. And um, when I started, I wanted to, I, I started with a couple of Nigerian reactions, but of course I didn't get much attention, all right? I didn't get much attention. Plus I was also doing American reactions. Yeah. Right? I was getting some attention, old school hip hop, um, immortal technique, uh, yeah, well, of them. Yeah. yeah. So I was getting I know what you're talking about. There. But yeah. then the MI vector, vector situation came up and I reacted to uh, the diss tracks and then got into social books as diss tracks. And that was how um, I decided that you, there's a lot happening in the African scene. Why not just yeah. focus on this one? So that's how I. Yeah. Started. Wow. You know what? I, I, I'm glad you, you said it like that because I'm like, you know. You know, Santi, just 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 tell exactly how it happened, and I kind of like skip parts. Like, I realized I went from <laughs> talk about when I start, and I went right into reaction. But I really didn't emphasize a little bit more on how I got into the reaction. I skipped mm -hmm. a whole set of story. What happened is, you know, I told you I started with the soca thing. Yeah. When I started with the soca, the soca music, I was getting a little bit of. I was getting a lot of traction actually back then. I was getting a lot of traction, but then you know, um, my kids, uh, my 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 first boy came, cause I actually got five five oh, kids. Oh, cool! Yeah, I got yeah. five kids. Five? Yeah. How, uh, how, how many boys? How many girls? Three three boys, two girls. Two girls. Cool. My my girl, my oldest girl is twenty two years old. Oh, yeah. So I see people 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 think that I'm, I'm actually a youngster. I'm, you I'm do not, look young. Really. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so my, my first girl she's 22 right and then the second girl she just turned she just turned um 20. okay and the boys the boys this is where the branch between the boys is an extension because it's all from the same woman so okay. when it comes to my boys my boys um the youngest one he's actually six years old the second boy he is um 
he is eight years old and the first boy he's 10 years old okay. so the boys are, are very little so when the boys came around um i just like shut off for youtube it wasn't really doing much on youtube but try to do some things but as when you have small kids and this is me telling you now yeah. <laughs> whenever you get kids or decide to get kids um sometimes you don't have the time for any you don't have time for yourself it's time for those kids so i kind of like stop youtube pay more attention into my kids and wasn't really doing anything and decided you know i would probably pick it back up when they get a little older fast forward now my boys got older old enough to that they can do stuff by themselves they don't need me as much to do a lot um so i start doing i started doing reactions now and my reactions which i did skip was uh still caribbean i went into soca but something that you said that i can relate to when you react to your own people's music you don't get a lot of traction don't know why this happens but it always happens i know why yeah go ahead it's because people from your country um they're not really what they're more excited when they see foreigners appreciating their own music so they tend to um gravitates more towards foreigners who appreciate their own stuff no life shot he, he didn't he didn't gain traction from american stuff it was the uk stuff that he was gaining traction from before the eminent yeah. fans came yeah oh yeah because that's who really ex that's who really make him yeah yeah true yeah. enough because 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 I, I I was doing Caribbean, I was doing mostly Barbados because that's where I'm originally from. I'm, I'm Barbadian, but I'm also Canadian, citizens of both countries. Um, so when I was doing Barbados music, I was listening, you know, people would respect what I'm doing, but nothing wasn't really happening. I was like, ah, I got to try a different scene or something. So then I was like, I'm not doing American because there's tons of American reactors. Facts. And then it, when it comes to certain things, I'm like, yeah i don't want to do that american thing so i could have done canadian but then the connection of the music that i love i gotta go with where i love where my heart is so mm -hmm. i was like let me just check out some african artists that's how i came across burner boy and burner boy was around way longer for the song that i was reacting to because i think the first song was on the low yeah. man i i just love that song right and i was like holy shit, man and that's how i started with their african reaction with burner boy and that's how I, I went into Fireboy DML, as I mentioned. And then I came across um, Stone Boy because now reggae, that's all reggae now will fall under my line of genre. Yeah. Because in the Caribbean, it's either dance or reggae, soca, and there's something called Booya and, and different types of genres that I would more relate to. So I find myself connecting a little bit more with Stone Boy. And then from there, I was hooked because then the Ghanaian fans just start coming and come in and come in and come in and then i went straight into um i went into other um Ghana artists but shatawali came around and right now i i think i safe enough to say that between store boy shatawali i think i have the most reactions on youtube the whole of youtube of wow. both those artists That's cool. so i i i think i, I safe enough to say shatawali for sure stone boy I could be, but I remember when I was reacted to Stone Boy, not a lot of people was. And then as I started going on and going through, and then it just took him to get one song, one collaboration with an American artist. Is that Kerry Houston? There, that right? went for, uh, yeah. I think, from the, I think from the day he did Kerry Hilson, don't mind you that he was he was already popular already, but I Ooh, think sometimes sure. when, when you get that collaboration with an American artist, then you start to get noticed a little bit more from everybody else yeah. and that's what happened same thing for um chatawali i reacted to chatawali way before the beyonce thing happened yeah not a lot of people was giving chatawali gets a lot of hit yeah I he, turn a lot. Uh, he gets a lot <laughs> this know, man gets a lot of hit. had that beef with sakodi for a while so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a lot of hit. he gets a lot of hit. but i there's something about chatawali that i I, I gravitate towards I gravitate towards people that you know no matter how people try to fight them or pull them down they yeah. still excel I gravitate towards those type of people that no matter what comes out of them they can still excel and I like to see I like to see these guys win so as much as people say he can't do it <laughs> this man just winning 
all the time. So that's what got me doing the Shadow Valley plus the fans, plus the subscribers. Yeah. When people show you love, you tend to want to do more and more and more mm. and more. True. That's why that's what happened. Now I will speak about that now because in my own um in my own reality, it's been slightly different. All mm. right. Um trying to stay true to um African reactions. Yeah. Um and trying to merge it with uh, the appreciation I get from yeah. non-African viewers. Because yeah. at the time I was reacting to American music, it wasn't it wasn't a long a long period of time, it was just a short period of time. I was getting yeah. a lot of um, love from uh, what they called it from um, horrorcore fans. I didn't even know what horrorcore was. Right? Oh, okay. But Lord, this genre was crazy. It was crazy. Let's talk about slitting their wrists, talk about demons doing this, doing that. Like it was oh, wow. It's almost like a genre um for a lot of depressed people. I know what you mean. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. So I, I know, I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, goth, it's more it's something like golf. It's like, almost like golf, a golf where uh thinking not. It's not exactly, but it has that darkness like goth. Yeah. I, I got what you mean. I get what you mean. So for me, it was great in the sense that I could understand um, trying to pass your depression through music. Yeah. On the other hand, I felt the need to protect my African audience from imbibing some of those things. Like, bruh, yeah. someone who's not you, someone who, who doesn't understand their reality might mm. take it in a different context yeah true enough yeah. so for that reason i decided to avoid the whole horrorcore scenes i used to get messages in my dms up until last year asking me to yeah. rap horrorcore and stop but i stopped in 2019 i stopped in 2019 like yeah nah like yeah a, a lot of views a lot of appreciation but no this not, is not what i'm trying to push here yeah right? so that's yeah. that was on one side then um um also then the, the second thing has to do with the stress of trying to combine multiple um, audiences. I'm still not, um, I'm still not very used to that. I used to react yeah. to Malaysian songs, mm. and I used to get lots of Malaysian viewers, right? But um, trying to trying to balance it all, like okay, I'll do Malaysian song, songs, do uh, and you know YouTube doesn't give notifications for all the videos you drop. They give notifications no, they don't like four, so it's hard yeah. to combine, right? And then now. So I stopped the Malaysian. No, I know that. Can I say I really stopped? I haven't done Malaysian Malaysian songs since um, say mid last year. Yeah. But uh, recently, I've been reacting to some German songs, and I've been getting yeah. um, some um, German viewers, subscribers. I don't intend to stop. Also, yeah. I think I've been getting some um, um, Canadian views. I'm not sure where that is going, but with the German yeah. with the German one, I definitely know there's something there. All right. So, but Good. trying to yeah. merge it all, like the um, I have to react to. Um, certain countries from Africa each day, and I still yeah. have to react to. Uh, I still have to give the German viewers what they want. Like they want, yeah. Stress. I I, I think, uh, but I try to say my advice. My ad advice, as in, and this is something that I can reveal to a lot of audience here that are watching right now. Me and Santi, I, I I and Santi will agree. We really don't get paid for what we're doing, True. right? So. We're doing this basically because we love doing it. And for the love that you guys give, we're doing it out of the love. It sounds crazy, but we're, uh, if you want to get real with it, we're actually reacting for likes. If you, <laughs> if you remove everything out of it, we're reacting for likes and good comments. Yeah, <laughs> because, I big comments mostly. Yeah, because it's something that we don't get paid for. Now, we ain't saying that we already knew what we were getting into. Yeah, we're not demanding pay. Understand what I'm saying? I'm saying that we love something. When you take something that you love, and then it becomes to be something like a job, which you don't get paid for. It, or who, be honest, who wants to do a job and don't get paid for it? And it becomes something like that. Then, when it comes to that, you, you feel very stressed. Yeah. Uh, you don't feel like doing it. Your love for it slowly goes especially if you feel like it becoming more of a job more than something that you like yeah. and when that happens you will become less active on the reactions that you want to do now saying that though um there are ways where you can make you can outsource yourself and make money outside of youtube because of youtube policies which a lot of people don't understand this is why we can make money off of reactions so when you guys 
um, ask us to do reaction to this and reaction to that. Sometimes we come under this thing where people might claim the video, which in rights they should because oh. it's their their content, but we can also get a block. So there's times where I have sat down here and did like three reactions and and I'm going to say foolish me. And there's a way we can check to see if some of this copyrighted or not on YouTube that a lot of people might not be aware of. Um, there's there's settings inside YouTube where you can go and you can go and check and search to see if this song has a copyright on it or not. And it, it takes, it's too time consuming. So when you do a reaction and you put it up there after doing it, however long you took doing it and you put it up, then you get a block. Bro. That's so deterring. Bro, <laughs> I've done... I've done four reactions in a day. Yeah. But we all four, and all four we have blocked. And then I took, I deleted the reactions, took the video, mm. cut out those parts that were copyrighted, uploaded them again, and they still I got see. blocked. <laughs> bro, I just <laughs> gave up. Like, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm done. Nah, that happened to me two days ago, actually. Shatawali <laughs> 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 the, the track. Um, it's a, a tune that Shatawali, I think the producer was a Jamaican producer. It was produced in Jamaica. Yeah. And I saw where it was being blocked, where I had issues. I did this song over, like, I did, I did all my editing, like, five freaking times. And all five times I still got a block and I got so pissed. I was like, this this shit. I would love to get the reaction. So I turn around and I throw it up on Instagram. That was my alternative. I had oh. to message people. Instagram didn't, didn't block it. No, Instagram the, the times Instagram could pick it up and block certain songs. Okay. It just depends on where it really depends on where the licensor is. Okay. Because their main focus might be YouTube. I'm not Instagram, okay. so you might not all the time though. There's times where a video might not go on Instagram, but IGTV, I put it on IGTV. I, I took the shot, I took the chance, and it remained on IGTV. Okay, okay. And I, I, I think when it comes to the whole claims and stuff, I, or blocks, not even claims. I don't mind the claims so much because it's something that I took and do, and I do it all of my own. Will. The claims are different. The claims are different. Yeah, you, the claims are different. You understand it in a way, but the blocks they are frustrating, bro. Yeah, what what artists need to understand, a management of artists need to understand that when you do this, you are losing out big time, big time, man. big time, because if you just start blocking stuff and you can keep your claims. Don't you know that you can create revenue if you have a hundred people reacting to your sound? You get the those revenue and the analytics. Yeah, from those hundred people plus your own uh, posts on your yeah. channel. This is what people don't think. And I know, I realize there are certain artists that probably know it. One for sure, I, I, I know Calligraph Jones got to know this. Yeah, that's why you will never get blocked. Well, I can't say never because I have, I have I, that okay. was something different. Okay, okay, I got blocked on one calibre one reaction, but that me, was just only that one ever. Yeah, I he's smart enough to know, you know what? I can get revenue if a thousand people reacted to my tunes, I would get revenue from those thousand people plus my own revenue, and that's smart. Same thing for Sakarde, Shatawali, um, Stone Boy. A lot, of, I can say for sure, Ganyan and some of the Nigerian artists, so, a very, very small bit of Kenyan though, because Kenya, I get blocked right, left, right, and center from Kenya <laughs> artists, right? Yeah. Uh, Calligraph Jones, um, and I think Arrow Boy, and then there's one or two other people that, that you would you would get bypassed. You would get the claims, but those guys smart. Whoever is managing those guys are smart enough to know, hey, don't block it. I get revenue from from other people plus my revenue and that's how that, that's all they need to do in terms of me and you though <laughs> that means that we will never make anything and this yeah. is where artists got speaking, of, speaking about that speaking about that yeah. um sorry give me a minute let me get my light yeah on. so speaking yeah. about that i um there was something there was um okay how do i put this i was speaking with um, a friend of mine a subscriber mm very active mm. on my YouTube channel. Right? And I was like, yo, this shit is frustrating me, man. I spend, so I, sometimes I spend lots of money on a data subscription 
I want to And you know, the, the power issues in my country, generating yeah. oil and all that. I'm like, Bro, I don't get nothing back because it's possible to do seven reactions and six, you get hit with copyright claims. Yeah. Very possible. So yeah. I was telling him that, yo, I'm going to, st- I'm going to um, try to get a job. All right. Mm. So, um, so I could um, do focus on, but you know, but the only problem is this. I actually like doing this. So it's hard to take time off this and yeah. focus on the other, on the yeah. job that actually pays. All right. Yeah. But that is what pays. So yeah. you have to focus on it again. So yeah. I don't get to react as much as I want to. All right. And um, somehow, somehow it feels like, um, um, Af- like the African society is not the same with the European society in many regards. Where where um, where reactors from YouTube and stuff from um, Europe and stuff could easily yeah. have patrons and donations and stuff, uh, is not doesn't work the same way here. It doesn't work no. the same way. All right, people. No. In, in fact, if you're going to have people donate here, yeah. most people prefer to just to just ask your account number. They don't even want to go to Patreon. Yeah. If you have that kind of stuff, like it's very, very different. So uh, the only real way I make money and it's not yeah. so frequent from this YouTube stuff is like um, um I the way I do my reactions is I react based on the most requested reactions. Okay. What I feel is most requested. So I react yeah. to that or I react to what I want to react to. Apart from that, if anybody wants me to react to your song, you're gonna to have to pay. My fee is thirty dollars. Just yeah. fifty dollars. So, if you pay, fine, we we'll react to your shit. If not, I'll just keep on reacting to what people ask me to react. Yeah. To. That's about the only yeah. way I make money off this shit. Yeah, so it's stress. So though, it's stress. But yeah, I know- it's stress. It, it, it's I get you, man. Cause cause I work. This is not YouTube. Is not my life. Yeah. I work in retail. Just like everyone, I work in retail. I work minimum wage in Canada. Okay. right and i work in retail and i'm still working during this whole COVID. and in ontario well canada is shut down yeah a lot of parts in canada are shut down now and i am still working as a upfront um uh, it's what they call an essential worker yeah um there's a lot of businesses that have been closed but as i work in retail which deals with food all the necessities i am still working so with the pandemic going on that i'm working and School is now closed now, which is going to make it extremely hard for me to even do reactions now because the kids are doing online school. So my computer and the laptop and all that, the day will be long to the kids. If I'm lucky and I come home from work at night, I'll probably get one reaction, but I don't know. It depends on how, how good I feel. And if I'm not tired, I can do a reaction. I really don't know. So my outside my 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 life outside of youtube is that i'm married i have my kids to deal with i have to work i have a family so i it's very hard for me to to do reactions constant my reactions have dropped from last year i can tell i don't last year i was pushing hard it was like dropping like four or five videos a day i had this thing there i want to drop three and four videos a day no i i am lucky if i can get off like four videos or five videos in a week <laughs> right yeah I can, I can relate I can imagine. yeah, yeah I can, oh, you, you're hoping you can only get five reactions a week all you all i can hope is that my subscribers understand where where this where i'm coming from because i do mention it in my videos you know that I, I just come from work i do little things to let them know where i came from what i was doing whatever right yeah so i hope you gotta depend on your hardcore subscribers yeah there are people true. that are going to stick with you no matter what those are your true subscribers there yeah so there's people that are going to understand and like whenever you drop something they're going to come running yeah true. if you don't drop anything they're going to probably go looking at old videos so my advice to you santi when you know you can't drop anything go and relate you got a playlist right do you have a playlist set up for like reactions yeah. of certain people post a playlist and tell them hey guys blah 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 i can't make it today but i will I'll urge you guys to go and check out this link where you can see my reactions to this person if you haven't seen them before okay because i bet for you too which happens to me a lot you have you have reacted to songs and you still find people in the comment section ask you to react to songs you already react to before oh all right so i, I that's why i keep telling people now now i'm um, the end of my videos all my videos know I have this outro thing where 
you can go right and check out my oh. my playlist on certain artists depending on who it is that I reacted to. Okay. So that's my advice to you. So try to like if you can't find time to pop a video, at least point them in the direction where they can find videos just in case yeah. you have not these days, um these days I use the um what do they call it? The not the um there's this icon that comes at the top of the video uh um, yeah. showing you what videos to watch. So I use that yeah. these days. Yes. Just be like, okay, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Yeah. But uh most times when I'm reacting, I forget to tell them. Um, watch out for this icon here. Uh, stop. So, yeah. so whoever sees it, you see it, man. Just leave me alone, bro. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I know, I know my style because I, 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 I always tell people when, when I get a chance. Sometimes I point people to your channel or to Mr. J channel. I have no problem promoting other brethren that we fit the same niche, but we do things a little bit different. Like for you, you do breakdowns and you do it really well. You and Mr. J do it really well. Comedy Lake do breakdowns, but he do he does it in a comedic style. Yeah. I do reactions and this is where I tell people reactions and breakdowns is a little bit different. Yeah. Because yes, they are all determined as reactions, but you guys are doing bar for bar breakdown, making people, you're educating people on what the lyrics are and what they mean if they don't understand. Me, I'm doing it more on that. I do a breakdown a little bit. I try to, my breakdowns are more relatable. Like if I hear something that I understand, I kind of relate back into something that I experienced in my own life. That's how I do my breakdown. If I do do a breakdown, otherwise then that mind is more entertainment. I make it more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. I make it more like when you hear this tune and you see me with my energy, you're going to like this tune too, because yeah. I am doing it like this, right? So my is more like a promotion style. And I agree with you when it comes to artists. No, I had this thing on Instagram. I get tons of tons of messages. I don't get to react. I don't get to message everybody back. And there's times where people want me to react to their tune. And I gotta be honest, there's times where people want me to react to the tune and it doesn't sound, it doesn't motivate me. It doesn't, for me to react to the tune, I must like it. Cause I'm yeah. not going to fake my energy re reaction, yeah, right? Exactly. So, so you can't react to every single person that asks you to react to oh, tune. Right. This is Rick. I normally go give, ahead. Go I normally ahead, bro. I normally give them two criteria. I normally say, yeah. if you want me to react, there's two things. First of all, you should know that I, I, I have to get paid. Right? Yeah. Now, if I don't get paid, now um, before you pay at all, before you send the money at all, if you mm. consider it, before you before you even consider it, you have to send me at least a snippet of the song. I have to listen yeah. to at least the first thirty seconds or one minute of the song to be sure it's something. I want to react to like i can't sit down here and be uh watching the screen but <laughs> can, no yeah i'm feeling like 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 i'm just collecting i don't know how to it's, it's almost be like i'm just doing it for the purpose of collecting money i don't know how to explain that again yeah so i know I you mean do that i know oh we, we gotta we gotta reveal this because there's a lot of tricks and a lot of artists out there i i just revealing i just i'm an open book right now in terms of stuff that that happens to me um i don't know if it happens to you but i can i can talk about stuff that happens to me they have this thing about artists um not all yeah artists know exactly what they're doing lots of them know what they're doing so you will get artists messaging you on instagram hey boss can you react to this tune can you react to my tune i just released it blah 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 you are the kindness of your heart because I do a lot of reactions. I will admit there's some that I do it out of the willingness of liking the tune and I want to see the person succeed because they sound really good as an unknown artist. Yeah. There's times where I reacted to guys and they were like, hey, man, can you help me out? You know, I was like, yo, this tune sounds nice. I can see what I can do for you. So I reacted to the tune. Mind you, I told them I don't make anything off of YouTube. And I tell them about the whole copyright claim thing and like Yeah, bro. We're talking about um the tricks. Yeah, so I, I find that you got artists message you and a lot of artists already know what they want to do. So a lot of artists come with you, come at you with, Oh, I would love for you to react to my tunes. Um and then you will let them know that listen, I don't make anything off of YouTube. Um you would try to like for me when I first started doing it. I was I'm, I'm sometimes too nice. I'm not that nice anymore because I put no on my um my Instagram. I have that uh, favors died in 2020, <laughs> right? <laughs> so I, I before I was 
nice and like i would tell guys man don't make anything off of youtube so if you want to it'd be great if you could donate something you know out a good gesture because i'm doing your favor i'm letting you utilize my platform and they would say yeah man i, I, I would definitely donate to your channel so i go into the reaction i put it up on youtube you know i already warned him too you got to warn people that i can't guarantee you views so i'm not gonna give you a big lot of traffic but i will get you out there because i'm gonna do what i can do right so you would do the reaction you, you would go and message the person show them that you did the reaction they'll be like thanks my brother man i really appreciate it then they might not even post the reaction you do on their instagram or they might and then then they would give you this whole run around oh man i i can't send you the money or do you have this or do you have that and no one no one no one donated at all the ones that i told to donate have it donated there's one i i must say though there's there's some that i actually got paid for and it's because the sound clicked with me and i was able to react the way how i react without faking a reaction but this is where i turn my reaction into a promotion reaction so even though i'm reacting i'm telling you where to go and find the artist yeah and you everywhere every information all the information can give about the artist they're where i get paid because you can't get paid within youtube so I work outside of YouTube. Now, America and Canada is completely different. They have all types of alternatives to pay someone in America. Yeah. Canada is not like that. No, Canada, like, they're so strict on where money's coming from. There's only certain ways where if someone sends you money, it has to be either PayPal or something called Interact, where it's more of a bank-to-bank -bank trans um, transaction where um, I can email, like, Interact here in Canada will be like, if you were in Canada and you have a bank account and, I, and you say, John, man, um, I need you to front me out like 50 bucks. I can use your email address. I can send it from my bank to your, your bank with just my phone. Uh, so you will get the money direct in an instant. It comes right away. So that's the process that we do here in Canada. But it can't work. It can't work like, like African nations is going to be different because your setup is different. A few people have PayPal. Not a lot, but then there's other like um I think um there's another one that everyone uses now. Um World Remit. Um uh, say it again. World Remit. Western Union. Western, Western Union. Union. Okay. Yeah. Everyone talks about Western Union, but Western Union, you have to I would have to go and walk to a location to pick up oh. money. I'm like, I am not gonna walk a location to pick up 30 bucks. <laughs> I have I have these same issues right now because our government yeah. just changed policies um yeah. this end of um last year. They changed yeah. the policies like it was shocking. I was supposed to receive payment for a reaction and the payment was hanging. I ended up losing the uh, pay the payment for two reactions because of the whole uh, uh, oh, wow. stress and stuff. So I'm still trying to sort it out. Uh, but for now, I'm looking for alternatives. But uh, yeah. hopefully by this weekend, I will have sorted it out. I, I will have to create a domiciliary account that will yeah. receive um, foreign uh, exchange. It's a, it's, yeah. So yeah, they will still... It's a long story, but basically, it's our government trying to rob us. Basically, that's what it is. Ah, <laughs> yo, that, that's crazy, man. And but, oh, what I, you were talking I about did, what you were yeah, talking about. See, well, I experienced that too, but yeah, the, the difference is I don't like the idea of artists donating to me, just pay me outright. So, I don't think yeah. I ever told any artist to donate. Right? That was my first, that, that, that was my, that was when I was like, like, iffy, I'm not iffy anymore. I don't come right. without donating stuff. Because I know what I got, I know what I'm doing. There's a reason why why you came to me and asked me to react to your tune. There's a reason. Yeah. It, it just it just didn't happen. You saw what I can do, and you were like, "Yeah, this guy can put me out there." So no, I, I tell people, "Yeah, there's a there's a fee that you have to pay." Some people don't respond back. <laughs> that's fine. That's, that's fine. fine. It's a lot. Of, it's a stress trying to do some of these videos, man. So yeah, and the the funny part is. Back then, when you react mm. to, uh, when I would react to someone for, okay, say for free, like, yo, this guy is dope and I react. And then you see YouTube sent you a notification that this video, man, this, that this video was manually reviewed. So the person manually, it's like on the person's channel, the person has 50 views. Now I react to it and, and the video gets there, 200 views, 100 views, 1K views. And the person now manually reviews and takes my money and the views. So it's like I'm yep. working for the person. 
So I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> yeah, that that's exactly what it's and so t- to be honest, I told someone this, I said, listen, I feel sometimes reactions, but like when we don't because we're not getting paid for it, we're actually working for the artist. Yeah. <laughs> like no, that's that's true. That's no. It's facts, it's facts. I, I mean the artist didn't tell you go and react to their song. Yeah. You do it because you like and their fans are asking you to do it. But the reality is we are technically working for the artist because all the claims and all the revenue goes to the artist. No, we're not getting here complaining. Don't get us wrong, but we're not complaining about the claims because it is the artist music and we are aware of this. What we are complaining about is when artists ask you to react. They ask you to react. You do it out of the kindness of your heart and they go and throw a claim on it. So they trick you. This is where the trick happens. They don't tell you that they have their own license. So when you do the reaction, then you they, you get hit with a claim. So now, what was supposed to be free and helping turns out for you working for them smartly. I don't even have an issue with reacting to it and it's licensed. But imagine mm. when you get a notification that the that yeah. person wins to manually, like the person saw it, like, yo, this shit has views. All right, YouTube, I want to claim it. It was, it was manually reviewed. Yeah. That means... That, you understand what it means for it to be manually reviewed? Yeah, I know what it means. So, like, I know. I'm like, yo, you came to me to react to your shit. Then why would yeah. you now go behind to manually review and claim my content? Like, yeah, yo. I know. Oh, and there's something. So there's a little bit. There's a little bit something that you may not know too, Santi. When it comes to so when claims happen, all right. This is how I would gotta explain it to you because I I know a lot about how YouTube works behind the scene. So, all right. So when someone does a claim, is that the song is already licensed, right? Yeah. The song is already licensed, so it becomes automatic claim, or automatic revenue going to the artist. When the artist manually reviews it, they're doing it, um, how can I explain it? So when they manually review it, they already have a claim on it, but YouTube lets you know that they, they are purposely looking at it now, yes. right? They're, they're purposely looking at what you're doing and because they're checking it out and keeping it up to date, now they know exactly how much money are going to come to them by their manual review. So it's basically, I don't know why people do manual reviews if they already have a claim on it, right? Yeah. But some artists do it purposely um, just to check out what you, what you did or if they like what you did. Like I've had manual reviews. I had a manual review from Stoneboy. I okay. did. And I didn't feel anywhere because you know what, Stone Boy is a big enough artist. He doesn't need my platform. Yeah. But what he did was he reviewed it, or whoever on his team reviewed it, and they let it go. They didn't. They could have brought me right there and then. They could have manually review and say, "Look, nope, don't want him reacting. I don't like this." Block. That's exactly what could have happened. But no, he let it go. So when sometimes when they manually review, they're checking to see like bigger artists. They're checking to see what you're saying or what you did. And if they don't feel any way, they let go. You, they will still get a claim, but they're checking to see what you did. And that's it. I've got a couple of those when I saw a manual review and the artist let it go. So if it isn't blocked from a manual review, that means the artist is technically okay with it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So so just look out for those sometimes. If you get a, a bigger name, manual review your stuff, and you don't get a block after it, that means I, they like it. I hardly even bother, bro. I'll be honest with you. I hardly <laughs> bother these days, man. I hardly bother. Yeah. Right. I know. I but try what? as much as possible these days to um, also make um, hundred percent original content. Uh, yeah. Do this um, hip hop news, and I also come up with other stuff that would. Uh, so, yeah. Hundred percent original content. So I don't yeah. do so much with those things anymore. To be honest. Yeah. I, me, me, I, I, I don't monetize any of my reactions. I have never monetized any of my reactions. Um, because I know how it would have, what would happen in the future if the person decides to um, put a claim, and I already got it monetized. That means I can potentially get a strike. Lord knows, no one wants a strike here on YouTube. No, you don't. Nope. So you, I, 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 I com- did you see about the new um, laws they were trying to um, in, to bring in last December? Um, about, yeah, copyrights in the U.S. Yeah, I see them. Bro, if that shit hit on YouTube, it would be crazy. I would have to delete my whole catalog, bro. Every single video I have. 
I will have to delete because I can't start start searching. I probably have like a thousand videos on my channel already. So I can't start checking yeah. one by one. I'll probably have to delete all the videos I have and start content afresh. Right. That's crazy. I, I I seen I I got I got I got some of it, but I didn't get what exactly what was the full details on it? Because I caught been up summary, but I didn't read the whole damn thing. Because I know I get a letter, but I didn't read the whole thing. What was the whole thing about the, about the claim? What they were trying to do? Okay, it was um you see almost every year they try to bring something like that, right? But this yeah. time they snuck it into a new bill, into an into another bill. So they snuck this one in, and um it was more like uh they were trying to propose jail sentence for anybody who has um, a copyright infringement. That is, if somebody else's material is mm -hmm. within is uh, found in your uh, content in your video, then yeah. um, there's a possible jail sentence for you if you are sued. Oh, oh, oh no, I can point it out to you. So, with with that, it's I, I can tell you where you're safe. I, I'll tell you if you're safe. You're safe, like you see what we're doing. Yeah, on the tech, I know people always put that section blah 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 thing that that doesn't really work. Doesn't but, work. Nah, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't work. But what I would tell you, this is where you stay. If, if you don't monetize, if you don't monetize any any of them, if you even monetize one, let's say that came about and you monetize a song, this is where you did a copyright infringement. What we are doing without monetize, but you don't monetize it, it's not an infringement. It's yeah. a claim, right? But yeah, I so, monetize. Yeah, oh, if you, I know, no, I monetize too. Yeah, I mean, the song, the actual song, you can, our channels are monetized because we're past the thousand mark, right? And yeah. the view, and a few minutes. But if you monetize the song, so, so there's being monetized and there's monetizing a song, a reaction. Yeah. So I am monetized, but I, I have never monetized a reaction. So if you turn around and monetize a reaction and you get hit, with a claim this is copyright is copyright infringement because what you're basically saying is that the content that i just reacted to is my content but then when the real person that you just react to their music say is their content you just did a copyright infringement because you never had an agreement with that person but you went and monetized your video claiming it is yours yes so once you don't yeah go ahead go ahead yeah no um there's also uh that um uh, this that uh, discretion that disagreement mm. between um, that discrepancy between mm. um, content infringement and fair use. Yeah. All right. Fair, now, fair use. Now go ahead. Go ahead. Now this is the thing. Um, you can uh, you can um, take snippets of a person's video or yeah. uh, image and use in your yeah. stuff for. Yes, you can. Years. You get what I'm saying. Now, um, yeah. the thing is YouTube. YouTube used to, YouTube used to get sued a lot. They used to get sued a lot. Yeah, you used before. to go. I know. Yeah. So what they just did was they simply tell you the reactor that yo, we are not the court. We don't determine fair use. Yeah. So what happens is, if any piece of somebody else's content is found in your video, then you are guilty of infringement. If you want to fight it, then go to the court. Now the question is, how many artists are you going to take to the court? Yeah, how many are yeah, how many artists are you? <laughs> You're not gonna take one <laughs> artist. Yeah. Right? So that's why you don't let like for me, for for me, I know there's a lot of the way how they write things is um it depends on how you understand it, because everybody will understand it. I can only tell you from how I understand the whole infringement thing. From from my point of view, when they're saying infringement, I'm infringing on them when I'm making money off of them. Okay. If you understand what I mean, I'm infringing on them and I'm making money off of them. Just that's the same example of me telling you. All right, let me say, let me call a name. Um, all right, let me call uh, Calligraph Jones. All right, I did a reaction to Calligraph Jones, and I decided in that section where they say, "Do you want to monetize the video or not?" and they turned it on. Right, the day that I decide to turn on that thing that monetize is the day that I just committed copyright infringement because what I just did is I turned on a mon I monetized the, the reaction I did to Calligraph Jones sound and in YouTube eyes I j I'm claiming that 100% of what I just did is all mine so being that it's already set in the system as monetized to Jigs illustration when Calligraph Jones decided 
I'm going to license my sound, automatic is going to kick in that someone else is claiming it's their sound. Yeah. So when he sees that, I have no rights because he has all the evidence that... Which is why you can't dispute it. If you dispute it, you might get hit yeah. with, a, with a block. Um, not a yes. block, um, a strike. Uh, you, a strike, right. You will get hit yeah. with a strike because you are not saying... That oh, 100% of the sound. You know, or, you know actu actually, um, if you are willing to go to court, if you are willing yeah. to go to court, which you cannot be willing to do because how many yeah. are you going to sue? But if you are willing yeah. to go to court, um, using a person's video is not the same thing as... Um, as a copyright infringement in the sense that in the sense that um you are not passing off the person's video as yours yeah. instead a, a, a key question is this are you completely transforming the video are you yeah. completely transforming the video your reaction video is not something your reaction video like my breakdown video is not something that someone can dance to yeah whiskey does a two minute song and then i make um a 13 minute um video breaking down the song, the meanings, and all that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I feel like only a mad person can dance to a breakdown video. <laughs> yeah, nobody can dance to a breakdown video. Nobody's, yeah. going, nobody's going to play a breakdown video in a club. Yeah. And dance to it. So it's not the same content. No, it's not the same content. But just just remember, we, they're not copywriting the video. It's the audio. So it's basically... Yeah. It's basically Which uh, is you it's get basically, jam with YouTube. Yeah. Cause, cause now the audio now with the audio, um, you gotta be you gotta be real careful with these people's audio. And for me, I am like, once I don't monetize anything, once I don't monetize a video that I reacted Super. to, I, I, I'm safe. I'm I'm in a safe zone. That's why we'll always get claims. No artist is gonna, no artist is gonna say, hey man, I'm gonna stop his claim and and, and block the video, no, cause they know they're making revenue off of me. Yeah. So basically. When when they're when they're getting all that from me, they're making everything off the audio, the audio that I'm doing, and not actually the video. So this is where YouTube picks up the whole the whole audio the, the audio portion of of claiming that it's someone else's content because of the damn audio that I'm using within the video. True. So yeah. So once I'm once I'm not for me, once I am not monetizing any of those videos that I'm reacting to. I am practically safe because they can block it if they want. Yeah. Or have it taken down. But YouTube is not gonna give me a strike because I have never this is where people don't I know there's people out there that don't say shit. I know there's some channels that got strike and I know how I know why they got strike. They will never come out and tell their audience why they got strike strike. But some guys they got strike because they were basically being a little bit dishonest. Okay. Because they know they claim a video is theirs by monetizing it. And being that they monetize videos that they know they probably shouldn't have monetized, and then when the when the um the licensing or whatever hit in automatic on the video, YouTube realizing hey, there's a there's a problem here. So that person over there gets a, a letter letting them know. Well, I've seen this person's claim is your this person's claiming that this is theirs. Once I've they give the evidence, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I've seen a couple of uh, channels get strikes and then yeah. act, act like uh, they don't know what happened. <laughs> like, I <laughs> watch, there's this um, basket. I don't know if you know Basket Mouth. He's a popular comedian uh, mm. from Nigeria. So he makes this uh, series, My Flatmates. I love the series so much. But it's yeah. available on DSTV and uh, one other mobile uh, stuff like that. So people, some people, so some channels will put, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Yeah, so we are back on. Um, I'm going to ask you now because you know we have to uh, wrap up. Yeah, I gotta wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, what do you, um, what direction do you think your channel will be going this year, and uh, in the near future? Okay, so what I want to do with the the channel going forward, um, I'm trying to expand on what I'm doing. So I'm into like Congo music now, Congolese music, with, with Fali and and uh, NSB, and so I'm transitioning to other countries. I still will remain doing Ghanaian reactions and, you know, Tanzanian and whoever I can react to. But Ghanaian is my base. I, I already know this already. My biggest base is Ghanaian. And all of a sudden, America now is my number two, right? Which, which kind of surprised me uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I now have a big American audience now all of a sudden. So it makes me wonder if a lot of the American uh, viewers are actually Africans living in America, which is quite possible, right? Um, so what I want to do going forward, the plan is 
to have um to make my viewers experience Caribbean artists because what my my dream is is to have Caribbean artists link up with African artists. America is big. I know everyone wants American exposure, but I think as we are distant cousins, I really think that we should focus more on trade and music amongst each other, right? Yeah. Radio stations and I, I know I live in Canada, but when I'm talking about back in Barbados, I don't think that radio stations even are, yeah, they know a couple of Afrobeat tunes, but no one really takes time to do an hour of African music. I think this should be something that should be happening. Where African music is playing on all Caribbean stations. All islands are different, but African music should be more exposed in the Caribbean. As I said, we are all cousins and brothers and sisters, distant, but we still have the same background. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I really wish to soca artists, because soca is my main genre, and I do love it. I would love soca artists or artists from from Caribbean to link up more with African artists. So my that's one of my dreams. But going forward right now, I'm trying to turn what I'm doing right now into an actual job. Who wants to be working for someone else? Uh, <laughs> I, I really, I don't really want to be continue doing what I do. I want to be doing something where I am helping my family and ever people that help me. I want to be able to help those people that help me as well. So what I would love to do with the reaction thing, I will continue doing reactions, but I'm want to turn this into more like a promotional type thing. Because okay. what I'm doing technically and the way how I react and all the energy that I give off and the style that I do it in, plus the editing, you know how I do it here, Sandy. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, the way how I do it, I want to turn it into a promotion. So I really want to be a kind of a promoter at the same time I'm, I'm doing reactions, but I'm doing it with a different vision, a different style. So I, I basically want to turn my thing into, I want to be a promoter, basically speaking. Yeah, that's the same that, thing I do. That's the yeah. thing I do in the sense that um, I do. Uh, I also do, do a few promotions, and mm. uh, uh, with the more traction my channel gains, uh, I get to make money off YouTube, and mm. uh, yeah, that's it's it's a bit difficult to tell uh, to to tailor a path uh, yeah. in terms of audience because, like I said, I keep getting new audiences like mm. separate stuff, so it's a, it's a bit difficult to tailor, but uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, I, all you got to do is kind of like, you know, I think for me personally, why I don't, don't let, let myself go under pressure of who's watching is because at the end of the day, it's my time, it's my energy, it's everything that I'm putting off. Yes, I'm doing it for my viewers. My viewers respect me. But at the same time, because you're not getting paid, you should have total control of what you're putting up on YouTube. So if you decide that I'm going to do one week of, you know, one particular country, just do one week. And if you want to do another week or the different country, do another week or, you know, do a different day. Like today I do Ghana, tomorrow I do Nigeria, the next day I do something else Ooh, or do... I decided to do, I, I decided this, what you're saying now was what I came up with a few days ago. I was like, now I, I have um, explored this option before, but I mm. used to like the idea of just, just doing um, everything balanced. But now yeah. I think... I can just decide to go um, a, a day, two days on this side, two yeah. days on the other side, stuff like that. Yeah, you, you, yeah, just just find a way that would work good for you. Uh, of course, you know your analytics, you know your algorithms, you know, not algorithms, you know your analytics, you know where your most of your viewers. For me, because I know Ganyan is my main audience, you will find me doing more Ganyan reactions. And then depending on who's two, three, four going down, then I will put. I will make sure I insert something to satisfy those people. And when things become balanced in terms of audience level, then I will start balancing a little bit more. But I try to take control because, as I said, when you're doing something like this and you don't get paid for it, you don't want to turn it into a stressful job. Yeah. Right. True. If you turn it into a stressful job, when you turn a hobby into a job, then you stop. You stop loving it. Yeah. And that's not what you want to do. You don't want to stop loving what you're doing. You want to. That's why what I you're take doing. a break sometimes. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta take taking the day of two is not gonna hugely affect your channel. Yeah. Um, yeah, the it might, the viewer might drop just a a little bit, but as I said, you um you have to take time for yourself and, and don't put yourself under so much pressure. I had a time up there so many different times. I talked to so many different people too, in terms yeah. of being stressed out and frustrated with 
people not understand it or some people not getting it that you're just doing it, you're doing it for them. So all the pressure that they're inserting, you know, you're not benefiting, you're not benefiting from it. So that's what you got to. You, you got to take control. That's basically speaking. You got to take control of your of what you're doing because it's your time, it's your energy, and you still got a life outside of YouTube. So you got to take yeah. control. True. So um, because of time, uh, we'll yeah. have to end this um, this session. So hopefully, yeah, for real, man. This is I think this is the first uh, uh, reactor. Uh, should I say chats or interview that we yeah. have? Yeah. That we chat too. I mean, we we've done things be we've done things with other guys too, but things don't really work out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was like a whole set of us. But yeah, this this is the first time. It's not there's nothing wrong with talking to, to each other. We could probably do this once a month, yeah. just checking with each other, see what's going on, what's what's growing, and uh, go make it a, a monthly thing if you want, man. I'm done with that. Yeah, you want to make a monthly thing? We can do this checking with each other and tell people what's going on and back and forth because i know i have people on my channel that go that, that are following your channel too sure, and i have people sure. on your channel that follow me too so True. we basically got we basically got kind of like an audience together yeah yeah so i definitely know yeah we got audience i i've seen because there's times where i'm trying to comment and let you know yeah man bless up santi i've seen guys that i know that comment on my on my stuff commenting on your stuff so i know we got we got uh we got the same amount of not same amount, but we have um subscribers that mutual audience sort of both of, yeah. Yeah, we got a mutual group of subscribers between the two two channels for sure. Yeah. Okay, bro. Uh thank you. Uh this chat. God bless. Yeah, thanks for happening, man. Yeah, God bless my brother. Pizza on the track, I'm the one that make him run. I'm the one that drop it hot. Fuck with me and you get shot. They can get me if they plug. I'm the baddest of the luck. I'm the baddest of the luck.